Hey everyone, so I'm going to be doing a video and I haven't done one of these in a long time, but it's going to be basically a step-by-step -step haircut, uh, a men's haircut, and we're gonna be taking a lot of hair off and I just wanna do this, you know, a breakdown for you. I'm feeling very creative. So let's take a look at the hair currently. Now, what I do when I'm cutting hair, which I barely do anymore on clients, but what I always do is make sure I'm setting the hair up for success. I always start with spraying 25 spray on, whether the hair is even, you know, especially when the hair is longer like this. I just wet it down so it could be full of knots. 25 spray is an amazing pre-styler, but also a cutting lotion because of all the ingredients and extracts in it. It helps keep the hair very, very moist and it helps keep the consistency even when you are combing. Now, another key benefit is it gets rid of knots and tangles pretty much instantly, as you can see. This vent brush is my favorite vent brush, which I do sell at shop.thesalonga.com because one of the rubber grip it has, it's not plastic, it's got a rubber coated grip, so you have a lot more control. Also, it's an anti-static vent brush, so it's gonna help prevent static when you're combing through or brushing your hair, uh, especially when it's dry, but the spacing on the bristles are perfect because it allows to get right through the hair and within seconds uh, we're combed through. So if you have somebody, whether it's a daughter, yourself, anyone who's got longer hair that just knots up like crazy, 25 spray is a miracle spray for getting out tangles and knots, especially on girls and, and people who have a ton of hair that get all tangled up. I've used this when I was working in a salon many, many years ago when I first come out with this and it, I couldn't even keep this in stock, everyone kept selling it or kept buying it. So this is a huge tool for when I'm, I'm doing haircuts. So I comb through the hair. So you can see what we got going on here. We've got some length, right? We've got some length throughout this haircut. And what I wanna do is actually try to create somewhat of a new trend, I would guess. Um, but I, I'm gonna take this really pretty short and through here, but I'm doing the entire thing by hand. I'm not using any clippers. Um, but I want to get a really good flow to this. And again, I'm feeling very creative and uh, I'm in a mood to just create an awesome haircut. So I'm ready to go. So the next thing that I like to do is make sure that the hair is not just dripping wet. A lot of times I'll see people, you know, work on clients or whatever, and the hair is just, it's like a waterfall of hair. You don't want to have a waterfall all over the client, all over the floor, all over yourself. The next thing you know, there's a leak, you know, and you have to call, you know, a plumber and it becomes a disaster, okay? <laughs> no, but seriously, don't let it drip like a waterfall. Just blot it dry. Next, we are ready to start cutting. And these are my tools. So I do have my own scissors right here. It has my Salon Guy logo on it. These were, you know, custom created for myself. Uh, and I also have hair cutting combs that I sell Everything is at shop.thesalonga.com. Clips, blow dryers, all sorts of stuff. You see, I have, I have hair clips right here. Alligator clips, my own, my own alligator clips, which I think come very, in very, very handy when you're trying to section the hair. All the tools you need are at my uh, website. So the first thing I like to do when it comes to cutting hair is to create a foundation, right? To create a foundation and to create kind of a starting point of how I want this to go. And usually that starts with sectioning off the hair and creating the outline, right? The outline is basically creating four different sections and then creating the division point. And the division point basically is what separates the front from the back. The best way to find out where the top of the head is, the flattest part, is to lay a comb and you see where the flattest part is, that's where the center of the head is, and that's where you separate the front from the back you know, that's one way of doing it. You can go here and then use the comb. Also, this comb right here, that's why it has this little gap. It's not because it's broken. It's because it allows the, the comb to get through the hair much easier so you can actually see where the section is. Okay, so it's more about precision than anything. People go, oh, it's broken, it's broken. It's not broken. It's designed to be like this. See that little gap right there? It's, it's to help you get through the hair easier. Another way you can find the division point is if you go like this and you just push up this way, the hair will split naturally on its own, okay? 
So that's another quick little trick. And usually it ends up being right behind the ear anyway. So what I'm doing is I'm getting rid of this, all right, to basically pinpoint and separate the front from the back. That's what we call the division point. And if you have a hard time figuring wh where is where that is, all you need to do is simply just take one of these clips and clip it out of the way, and there you go. Okay. Now we've got a clip there to separate the front from the back. You can do the same thing on this side, right? Comb it all down. You can push the hair up like this, and there's where it splits. Hold on. Let's see. Here it is right here. That's where it splits and just get rid of the rest of the hair. And again, this is just, do you have to go through all this? I mean, you don't have to, you could just push this out of the way. I actually cut hair for many, many years without even using clips. You know, I, even with blow drying, I don't use clips. I just try to get through the hair as quickly as possible. And there we go. All right, we're trying to be efficient. We're trying to get the job done. And that's been 45 minutes trying to section the hair, okay? So here we go. We've got the division point. We have the front and the back. Now let's go right down the middle. And this is how I like to start my haircuts is just basically mapping out and giving myself a little more space in through here instead of having all the hair down in one shot. This is where we start the, basically the base, right? The foundation of the haircut or AKA the length. So since we are going a bit shorter, what I'm going to do is I'm literally just going to hold this hair like this. And the more experience you get, the more you'll be able to do this. But look, now we have a clear, a clear direction, right? A clear, a clear angle of where we're going to cut this. So I'm holding this up. We're going to cut this straight across and there we go. So let's do the next section right underneath like this. And there we go. And then literally it's like bringing all this down. You can see I'm doing one section at a time, but Look how, uh, how quick and efficient. Even with, with women's haircuts, if we're doing bobs, uh, you can just literally just get this all out of the way in one shot, and then most of the work is done, okay, within seconds. So I've literally cut basically a one length bob, and look how straight that is within seconds. So same thing on this side. Now we're gonna continue. Just get this out of the way, comb it straight down like this. Bam, you can place your comb right there and let's continue straight across. I'm not even using my hands to hold the hair. I'm not doing any sort of like cinematics, 19 hours a section of hair. I'm not, you know, doing this for 45 minutes. Just get the darn hair out of the way and cut it, okay? You can cut hair. I have a bit more of an aggressive kind of approach to the hair. Um, there's nothing wrong with precision uh, or being precise, which I'm still precise but I'm able to do it in a way that's very, very efficient. All right, and I think that's what really helps me uh, achieve the haircuts I'm looking for. Again, so we're not trying to create like a bob here, <laughs> even though it looks like that. Uh, but basically what we've done is we've gotten rid of a whole bunch of hair and we've created the foundation of the haircut in a matter of seconds. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is we have all this to work on, okay? We have all this hair to work on in throughout here because literally all I did was create the foundation. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by creating a section right here on the top of the head. And what this is going to do, it's going to give me an idea of where I want this hair to fall. So the shorter you cut this, right? If I cut this piece to right here, it's gonna fall right here. If I hold it all the way out here, it's gonna fall here. So cut less hair if you want it to be longer. <laughs> it's that simple. But really what you need to do is visualize where you want this hair to fall. So for this haircut, what I'm envisioning is actually having a bit of length on top and making this a bit edgy and creative. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna comb the hair straight up and I'm gonna cut straight across. So as you can see right in through here, we still have some length on top, but I did cut some hair. But this is a good, consider can, like, good amount of hair 
on top. So we get straight across. So now, what do we do with this one piece in through here? And this is where all the, mag ow, this is where all the magic starts to happen. So I'm going to split this in half like so. I'm going to take a section right here underneath that and I'm going to comb this straight up. I'm combing this straight up like so and this is going to be how I create the layers in the back. And guess what? One snip right across. Now we have perfectly even layers right in through here. As you can see, get the hair out of the way. There it is. Perfectly even. We're going for the even Steven today. Here we go. Next section on the other side. Comb this straight up. You're going to see your guideline underneath. I'm just trying to get this way. Don't have my elbow in your way. So I apologize if I'm in, seem like I'm in an awkward position here. But there we go. Now we've got a perfectly even balanced section of hair right throughout here. Now we're going to layer and really remove a lot of this weight and hair down through here. And how do we do that? Well, let's comb the hair straight out from the head. And this is where all the layering starts. So we got a lot, a lot of length in through here. Here is where the hair ends that we just cut. And look at all that length into here. So you can see it's shorter, shorter, shorter. And this is where all the length starts. So let's go and let's match this up now. And what we're going to do is we're actually going to start removing all of this weight in through here. All right. So we're holding it straight out from the head. And now what we're doing is we're pulling it straight out. And now we're going to start angling our fingers more inwards to create more of a graduation or somewhat closer to the head shape. And we're going to be able to get even closer once we go and change our hand positioning. So now that we have a guide, we're going to work from one angle to the next or one side to the next. And all I'm doing is pulling the hair straight out. Remember, not straight up, but straight out from the head. And we're just following the head shape. All right. Now you're going to notice like, oh, there's going to be all sorts of hair down and through here. We're going to come back and get that when we change our hand positioning. But what I'm doing is I'm pushing the hair out of the way that we just cut. We're leaving the pass behind. And now it's just a matter of following the pattern and following your previous guide of what you just cut. All right. And this could be done. You see, I'm not taking, you know, 19 minutes to do, you know, I see people doing this all day. You don't have to do that. Okay. It looks cool. I guess if you want to look super neat, but you don't have to do that, right? You want to fit more people in. Well, guess what? Taking 18 minutes of section of haircuts may not do it. But again, everyone is different. Everybody works differently. I have a bit more of a somewhat aggressive approach, even though I take my time and I'm very thorough. I like to get the job done and not waste or not, not spend so much time on things that aren't as necessary as they, you may think they are. Okay. So here we go. Now we're getting into the corners. This is very, 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 very crucial. There's a lot of hair in through here and I'm going to show you how to get rid of all this hair. But what I'm trying to do right now is create this shape, which we've already done on this side. As you can see, it's a lot more slim and narrow. So now we're going to go back to where we left off before and we're going to comb this again, same way, comb it straight out from the head. There's the guide. Now remember this is, we're leaving this a little bit longer. So we're going to have some length throughout the top here, but this is where we are trying to narrow this and balance all this hair out. And you could see underneath there's the guide next section, comb this out of the way. We're going to comb. And, and the thing about this is like, once you pretty much pinpoint the sectioning and you see where you have to go with all this, it becomes like second nature, to be honest with you. You're able to really, I don't know, you're really able to like see things a lot more clear. Now I like to section the hair with the wide teeth, then I switch it around and then I go with the more fine teeth of the comb. Okay. I do that simply because it helps me just get through the hair better. If I, if I need to, I use the wide teeth first like this and then switch over to the more, th the thinner teeth, right? Or the closer teeth. So there we go. Hold on for dear life to your section above 
and there we go. Once again, yes, we are getting into the corners now, which is very, very crucial. And I know there's gonna be a lot of hair down in through this area, but I'm gonna show you all how to get rid of it. So what have we done? We've gotten rid of all of this, and you can see, if you're looking to create texture in the hair, if you're looking to create some sort of like wave or anything, we've already done that by simply layering the hair. A layering is a technique. That's what layering is. It's a technique that's designed to help remove weight, okay? So as you can see, we've got a beautiful haircut that's forming now, and here is where we even go one step further, and that's how we get rid of all of this weight in through here. So what we're gonna do is, let's see if I can go this way. What we're gonna do is, I'm gonna comb the hair straight down like this, and I'm going to hold it out. Now, when I hold it out like this, this is basically the length of what all of this is going to be in through here. Now I'm cutting palm to palm, as you can see, and I'm able to get much closer to the scalp. All right, I'm cutting palm, I hope I didn't have my head in the way, sorry about that. We're cutting palm to palm this way. And now what I'm going to do is extend this all the way down on an angle that hopefully that's a good shot of me cutting. And we're gonna extend this all the way down like this. All right, as I move this way, let's push this hair out of the way. So here we can get much, much, much closer to the bottom of the nape. And now, look, we matched up down through here finally. So all of this now is much more tapered and we're getting rid of all that heaviness, right? That, that bulk that was in throughout the sides here. And you can extend this as far up as you want, basically, to make sure that you are getting rid of, you know, all that hair and any excess hair that you need uh, to get rid of. There's nothing wrong with that, right? Don't be afraid to cut the hair. If, if it looks very, very heavy and it looks like it's not working in sync properly, go back in, grab a chunk of hair, grab a huge section and see what the hair is doing. The hair basically is gonna talk to you. That's what I always say, the hair talks to you and basically points out what needs to get cut. And I've been, I've been doing that for so many years by just grabbing and feeling, right? Grabbing and feeling the hair and, and the hair is basically gonna stand out where it may be too thick, it may be you know, obvious that it's uneven or unbalanced, but don't be afraid to be aggressive. I think the one thing that I've seen in teaching people cut hair throughout the years is that they simply aren't aggressive enough. Everything's so like little, you have to really, really get in there. Don't be afraid to cut. Don't be afraid to grab hair, grab big sections and chomp away, I'm telling you. Once you, once you become more familiar and confident with how you maneuver hair and hold hair and work hair, then it's gonna be a lot easier. And see what's happening, the more I really get in there and grab that hair, it's actually helping me see areas that I need to go shorter in, like down and through here. And again, this is where all that bulk is that we didn't cut before. So we're working our way down like that. I apologize if it's zooming on my head. I'm trying to get out of the way for all of you, but uh, I'm trying to also do a decent haircut over here. So. Uh, there we go. So as you can see, I'm working on an angle. I'm working somewhat diagonally, all going in one shape, which is this way. It's all flowing down this way. And then what's gonna happen is I'm gonna reverse this because there's a lot of hair in through here. I'm gonna reverse this and then go back the opposite way. All right, but what I'm trying to do, and you'll see right through here, is create a nice even flow working this way. All right, so what do we do now on this side? All right, well, we can hold the hair, let's back up a little bit. We can hold the hair out this way, push all this hair out of the way, and we're gonna, we're gonna basically do what we did on the other side, which is comb the hair straight up like this. Right, and now we're matching what we did on the other side. So now we're just extending up this way. 
push his hair out of the way. We're going to comb the hair. And now we're just looking to remove any sort of weight or bulk or hair, hair that doesn't need to, uh, don't worry, I'm good, that doesn't need to be there, okay? I'm so focused on the camera here <laughs> because I want you really to see this that I'm, I'm almost too hyper. So here we go. So let's get this out of the way. Once again, combing this straight out from the head. And, you know, sometimes, sometimes what happens is if you get too aggressive, yeah, you may cause a little bit of a, a gash or you may end up chopping something, but you know what? It's totally fine because when you watch some of the best people work in whatever field or trade that they're in, usually they're working at a high, high speed, right? They're, they're definitely cranking through it, right? They're not babying it. They're not like, you know, oh yeah, I'm just gonna take my sweet old time. You have to be somewhat aggressive, okay? You have to be somewhat aggressive. So here we go. We've matched up both sides. Let's bring this all straight back. And now what we're doing is troubleshooting. And by troubleshooting, I mean we're looking for things that aren't laying properly. We're looking for things that are maybe unbalanced. And how do we do that? Well, we just start pulling the hair, combing the hair in all different directions. Let's hold it straight out horizontally from the head. Okay, let's see if we come across anything. So holding it straight out from the head horizontally is going to give you a good indication of your balance like this. And if there are any pieces that just need to be skimmed off, then don't, don't be afraid to skim them off. Uh, so let's hold this up here. Just be careful that you're not going to be like cutting any sort of lines into the head or creating any sort of weight lines by messing up and, and you know, chopping up your blend that you just spent all this time on doing. So sometimes it's best for layering. If you see a weight line, it's simply because it's not blended or soften enough coming this way, not this way. You're gonna have all these lines in the head and you don't wanna do that. So all you can do now is simply just pull the hair out from the head and look to see. So once again, I'm feeling this being a little bit long in through here and there it is. There it is, just slightly longer right in this area and probably it's because I'm trying to focus on the damn camera angles more than the haircut. But this is the difference, everyone who's watching, this is the difference between a chop shop 15, 20 minute haircut and someone who's willing to spend hundreds of dollars for a haircut, okay? And trust me when I say, yeah, you may not be able to afford it, you don't wanna spend it, you're happy going to your barber, spending $9 for 10 minutes, that's totally cool. But, you know, I've had people travel all over the world for haircuts with me. They fly in from countries. They want to fly in from all over because they want the attention. They want this dedication to the haircut. I've just finished the back, okay? And I'm only kind of done from a general perspective. But what we have now is an amazing textured, beautifully layered haircut throughout the back, as you can see in through here, all right? Awesome. Now it's time to move on to the next phase of the haircut, which is working and connecting in throughout the sides here. And here we go. So let's comb all this down. Looks beautiful, looks great. Here we go. Take this off, or take this clip out. What you need to do is now we're going to section this off for the sides, okay? We've got all this into here, and now we have, guess what? We have our weight line in through here, right? We have our guide to now help us cut the hair. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna take this section of hair right in through here and look, where we, look what we can do now. There we go. So let's get rid of all this in through here. We don't need that. All right, let's get rid of this. Now we're done. Look, we're done with this. And we can basically cut a straight line right across. We have all this blended in now. So let's go throughout the top here. And again, I mentioned that I wanted to leave the top slightly longer. So let's do that by holding this down on an angle. Watch this. We're going to hold this on an angle because the angle is what really keeps the hair 
So you can see this all goes shorter into longer. But when I'm done cutting this, you're gonna, it's gonna look like insane. And you can already see the kind of shape that it's taking. I still have to layer it, but what I wanna do is I'm gonna go in and create some internal layering. But let's do the, we still have this side. <laughs> so hair cutting could be done relatively quickly, right? It could be done relatively quickly. It's just, it needs to be done efficiently and correctly, okay? It needs to be done efficiently and correctly. So here we go. I can already see where it needs to be cut right in through there. I, I stopped right there. I stopped right there. I didn't even go in and, and go to the back because it's already cut. See, <laughs> this is already cut. All I'm doing is, is that, that's it. Let's bring this down. Obviously be careful with the ears and all that stuff. But here's the angle. So let's move that out of the way. And you wanna be cautious always because we're trying to keep the length like we talked about before. But you see how my fingers are positioned? I'm now cutting downwards like this. And I'm basically holding that angle just like that. So then what we can do to make sure it's even is pull the hair straight down like this and we're checking, checking, checking to make sure that everything is balanced and you should, when this is all done, you should see the hair coming into like a point, all right? A point just like this, almost like a triangle, all this coming forward, that's what the hair should look like, all right? So what you're looking for is trying to see all of this in through here how balanced is it? Are we even? Are we good to go? Looks good to me. So let's brush all this out of the way. All right, and this is where all the fun begins as far as like being creative and starting to take out weight and things like that. So how are we gonna layer this? Well, let's bring this down this way and we're gonna start by layering, working around the head shape like I said before. This entire back is completely finished. We've cut the entire back. It's all done, right? You can see, look, all that's cut. What isn't cut is all this. All right, there it is. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna cut shorter to longer and I'm angling my elbow towards the sky or towards the ceiling. That's how we get shorter to longer, by raising the elbow to cut straight up. All right, this is all old school stuff when it comes to hair cutting, but the elbow and the arm positioning really is what's you know dictating the shape of the haircut right if i have my arm this way guess what it's going the opposite direction the higher i lift my arm you see my angle my uh, finger angle is changing all right so here we go i'm going right down the middle let's angle those arms up and let's work all the way to very very front because every hair matters on the head we don't want to skip out on sections and let's now work on this side here. And you notice where I'm standing. I'm standing on the same exact side. I'm not like putting myself in all sorts of weird, awkward positions. I'm basically just setting myself up to be in a stationary spot that's gonna allow me to cut the hair, okay? Uh, and, in a, and once again, in, in a very efficient way, all right? So here we go. Push this out of the way. Now I'm working on the other side. I'm literally standing in the same exact spot that I was before. And you can see how I'm rolling, really, really going through this very quickly, but also very efficiently. All right, I'm not taking 36 different sections. I'm not using 96 clips. I'm literally just going in and feeling the hair, looking for things that I need to, to work on in order to make this lay better. And, and that's really what it comes down to, okay? So let's bring the hair from underneath. Again, yes, this is gonna be a bit longer into here, but now I am ready to start the styling process and my back is killing me. Oh gosh, I don't know if you heard that crack. Whew, but my back is killing me. So what do we have here? We have an awesome haircut that literally has a lot of length throughout the top here. Right, some ex extreme length, which I mentioned, I wanted this to be a little more extreme 
and somewhat artsy and edgy, okay? But now I'm going to blow dry the hair. We can't forget the pre-styling product, Tidal Wave. Excuse me, it's also great for post-styling, but I want to get some texture in the hair. Now, I'm doing this, I'm spraying in Tidal Wave a bit more strategically, where I'm going in at the scalp, and I'm just doing one or two spritzes, that's it. Okay, one or two spritzes. Tidal Wave is essential for giving you that texture. There's no other way about it. It's really ideal for giving texture. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna blow dry this. I apologize for the noise if you hear the blow dryer going, but here we go. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run my fingers through this, and to me, and I'll explain why I did what I did with, with the blow drying, um, it, it feels a little bit heavy to me, and I feel like I wanna add some more texture to it. All right, so how are we gonna go about doing that? Well, this is where things get a little interesting, and I'm gonna go a little bit crazy. So I'm taking my thinning shear, okay, right here, this is a six inch, no, yeah, six inch, 14 teeth, uh, I believe, uh, whoop, thinning shear. And now what I'm doing is I'm gonna go crazy and I'm gonna feel for all the bulk in the hair. And I'm just gonna start to remove the weight just by where I feel it and I visually see the thickness, okay? I'm literally feeling for the hair and I'm 
scooping from underneath and I'm just trying to get rid of all that excess weight and that bulk and I'm doing all this freehand in through here. Okay, so I'm also going to be, look at all the hair that just came out, but I'm also going to push this out of the way and feel. So I can automatically see that that really um, took a good amount of weight off in through here. But now I'm going to go in right in this area and I'm feeling, I'm looking to feel, whoops, see, I, I ripped the head off. I'm looking to feel where the hair needs it. So I'm lifting and trying to figure out what needs to be done from a, a texture perspective of getting the hair to lay a little bit better. And you can already see what's happening in through here. So let's go up this way. There it is. All right, now let's work on the other side. And this is the difference, ladies and gentlemen. This is the difference between, like I mentioned, getting a, you know, 15 minute haircut, paying $9 for it compared to hundreds of dollars, which I would be charging, okay? And here we go. It's all about feel. And I'm doing this when the hair is dry, right? I'm doing this when the hair is dry because when the hair is dry, you're able to feel most of the, the weight and the bulk, okay? That's when you're able to really feel the hair. You can't do it when it's wet because it's gonna be um, a lot, you're not gonna feel any sort of weight in the hair when it's wet. So I'm, I'm cutting and running my fingers to it, but I'm also looking Right? I'm looking for things. I'm pulling the hair straight out to see where it may need a bit more blending or a bit a, more of a connection, right? Okay. God, I, think we're, I think we're good. And like I mentioned before, the hair will, will talk to you. Hair will basically talk. Now look at, look at this. I just took this huge chunk of hair and now I'm getting rid of all this this weight in through here, right? All this, this huge chunk of hair. And look at all this hair I took out. And now this is a mannequin head where the hair itself, now I want, you're gonna be amazed at what you see. The hair itself is very, very fine, but there's a ton and ton. Now you may think to yourself, oh my God, Salonga, you made it look even thicker and crazier, but watch this. So let's run our fingers through it now. Let's get all this hair out of the way and Let's see what we have now as far as like the style. All right, there we go. Much, much more tame. Okay, you can see in throughout the sides here, it's much tamer and a lot less bulky and heavy. And you're gonna, when you do this, you're gonna start to see that there's a lot of hair, right? A lot of hair that is going to be coming out. So don't freak out when you see like all this this hair that's like, you know, <laughs> coming out of your, in your hands, okay? But if you wanna really make it close to the head, well, there you go. See how flat we can make this? Let's turn this way. So here is, here's the angle, right? If you're looking for more severe angle, well, here it is. There's your angle throughout the front. Let's go back this way. Here's your angle throughout the front here. You know, you can style this in a variety of different ways. Right? If you want to kind of go a little more edgy, you can, you can literally have this come over, sweep over this way if you wanted to, you know, be a bit more like somewhat emo or edge if you want, <laughs> you know, but I wanted to show you the haircut purely based off of uh, just using my hands and using Tidal Wave, how much volume, how much lift you can get with this. And, um, the kind of style and shape you can get. So what I wanna do is I want to apply, uh, give me a second here, I may have to go, go find this, but let's see, uh, here it is. This is exactly what I was looking for, my crafted matte pomade which has been a huge hit. So if, you're, if you have hair that gets a little bit out of control, that gets a little bit heavy, a little bit bulky, okay, what you can do is use the matte pomade and it's really gonna help tame the hair. It's not designed for a crazy, crazy hold, but it's got enough texture to where it more gives you 
control over the hair for a longer period of time, which essentially you may think it's hold, but it's more control. Okay, it's a heavy control. That's what we're looking for. And that's what I want with this. So I'm going to take it and let's get a nice, decent scoop like so. And we're gonna work this through the palm and then into the fingers because the fingers is really where the, the hair is going to be going through. Let's work it. And the more you work it into your hands, the more it kind of starts to break down a little bit. It goes through kind of like initial, like, oh, it feels kind of grippy. But then as you work it through the hands, it really starts to become a bit more lotion-like. And that's where we can really take advantage of this amazing product. Look, look in seconds. Look what we did in literally in seconds. The hair is now tame. All right. Now let's turn this head around this way. Let's do the same thing. Get this hair out of the way and let's really work this product in. Let's tame this hair down and let's get this product in the hair and you can see what it's doing. It's really giving it almost an immediate reaction to the hair where it's a lot more tame. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to run my fingers through the hair and I'm really want to get that product living in the hair. Okay. I want to get this product to really go through the hair. And as you can see what's happening into here, it's a completely different look. All right. Look at this, look at this hairstyle we've created. It's a completely different look now, all because of, I mean, this is a, this is a really, I impress myself sometimes, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, this is a beautiful haircut, beautiful layering, a lot of great texture, but this is, this is really awesome if you're looking to have some, some shape, a little more control to it, and you wanna have a few pieces. So you wanna have some pieces come down this way. Well, here you go, here's your pieces. Let's bring this out of the way this way. You can have a couple of pieces coming down like this if you want, right? Or just one little piece. There we go. We can have one piece come down. We can kind of angle that out this way. But this is an awesome, awesome modern kind of hairstyle, right? Uh, it, it, is, it is, you know, there is some hair on the head still. That's one thing you have to take into consideration. There is some hair on the head. And, you know, I don't want you to feel like, you know, oh, this is, I thought this was going to feel a lot shorter. No, you, you are going to feel this is not a short hair haircut. You may think it is, all right, but it's really, it's really not. Because there's, look how long the, look how long this is in the front. I mean, I, again, I went very, very, very extreme. This is somebody, for somebody who wants to have a little more of a creative type of edge to their hair. They want to have, you want to have these pieces kind of coming down and, angled like this. So this, this is not for somebody who wants to feel like they have short hair. All right. But the matte pomade is a product that I think, you know, really can give you an awesome edge right throughout your style. So let's brush all this back and there you go. Wow. I feel like I, I mean, this was all one take, ladies and gentlemen, thank God everything is going smoothly, <laughs> technically all one take and I know I don't do these that often anymore. I just, you know, I'm not cutting hair as much as I used to. Um, I'm still growing the brand and the business, but seeing clients and stuff is really not what I'm focused on anymore. But I wanted to, you know, I felt very creative. And over the weekend I said, I need to do a haircut. And I, and I still, you know, I'm, I'm happy with how I, uh, I did this and the results came out. Whoops, sorry. I think, I think I had a lot of fun doing this. So. If you are interested in purchasing any of the products I use, they're all available at shop.thestalling.com. Use code YouTube20, that's YouTube20, and please in the comments below, I'm gonna ask you for a favor. Let me know if you are a professional, whether you're a hairstylist, a barber, whatever it is, if you found this video and if you watch this entire thing from start to finish, if you've tried this on somebody, this is a pretty advanced haircut, but I shared some gems in this video to help you from a number of different techniques, using the thinning shears, trying to feel for things. I really went nuts in this video. So please let me know if this video helped you. And I want to see as many comments as possible. I don't want to hear the comments learning how to cut hair from a bald guy. I mean, like I get it. You're 12 and you want to express yourself, but please, I want to really hear sincere, authentic comments from people uh, on how, you know, this helped you all. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon.